Hi, my Leos. It's Jamie Zebra 23. I am doing your September 2017 general uh, tarot card reading for um, for uh, Leo Sun Moon and Rising. I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. If you'd like a personal reading, you can check out my website, jamiezebra23.com. Um, my readings are $25, $50, and $75. I typically do your readings within 24 to 72 hours. Um, I have a new feature, same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your reading the same day. I also have a $5 one question, one answer via email only. I have um, kits for love, money, and protection that I can ship out to you. I have um, spells for love, money, and protection. I've got sage that I can send to you. I've got a ton more. I've got so much stuff on the website, it would take me like a day to list it. All right, so just check it out. So this is what we've got. We've got the king of cups in the reverse, which could also be the queen of cups. We've got the five of cups in reverse. We've got the king of wands, which could also be the queen of wands. We've got the sun card, and then we've got the nine of pentacles upright. So with these cards, you guys have a, um, a dishonest Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio that's coming in. This person is dishonest. This person um, wants to come back to you, though. They, they, um, they're they going to try to sell you a story that they're rehabilitated. Either they're off the drugs, they stopped drinking, they stopped lying, they stopped cheating. Um, they're not really money hungry, <laughs> but they have not changed. Yeah. Um, so there's this nasty one that's coming up in the beginning of September. But then you also have, I feel like a new one is coming too, a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. And this new one is actually a good one, so don't let one bad experience with a water sign ruin your ruin it. Um, I feel like a lot of people do that. They have like one bad experience with a zodiac sign, and they're like, ah, I'm done, never again. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say something, but I'm not. I'm gonna choose not to. But anyway, <laughs> okay. We got the King of Wands upright, which could be the Queen. So this person is from your past because it's facing the past position, like. This way it looks like the forward, but my way it's the past. So there is a there is a fellow fire sign, a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries from the past that actually wants a real relationship with you. They want to get back together with you. I feel like whoever this fire sign is, um, it wasn't so much that they didn't want you. It was that they had other things to do or they were trying to figure themselves out. So if you guys would have been together at that time, it would have, it would have been a lot of heartbreak and a lot of... Um, bitterness and resentment because if somebody's not ready for something and you try to force it what happens is they might start cheating on you or they might start you know making up lies or it just it just wasn't a good it wasn't a good time the timing was off with whoever this other fire sign was leo um but this person wants to come back in and make amends also um for the cross watching water signs cancer pisces or a scorpio it's saying that if you if you do want to reconcile with a with a leo you can do that. It's saying here that this person would be open to it, but you actually have to prove something. You have to show this person that you have actually changed. You have to show this person that you really do want to be stable and mature, and you really do want to take care of your responsibility. I feel like for some of you, you have one to two children with this uh, Leo, or you guys were working on making a baby when, when you guys broke up. And then we got the sun card right behind the Leo. So it's like, um, if you are having trouble Leo, um, right now, emotionally, mentally, financially, it's saying inwards, um, I'd say around mid-September, maybe a little bit after that, things are going to start looking up financially and also emotionally. Some of you just, um, I feel like there's some kind of depression energy going on, some sadness energy. It's going to be fine. It's, it's going to blow over. Anytime there's a season change and then we're coming out of Mercury retrograde too, and then we've got even more stuff coming. I mean, it's just, it just, it is what it is. So the best thing that you can do is try to think as positively as you can and try to keep it moving. Keep the flow of energy going in a positive direction instead of in a stagnant, negative, oh my gosh, woe is me, which typically, Leos, you don't even you don't even go there. So I don't even know why I'm explaining that to you. You, you guys are the go-getters of the Zodiac. No offense to anybody else. I love all the other signs, but Leo, you definitely got it going on. And then we've got the Nine of Pentacles upright. So some of you do have a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo coming in. This person is financially stable. This person is mentally stable and emotionally stable. Um, and I feel like uh, you guys really need that around uh, at this time. Coming into September, you guys really need this. But this is towards the end of the month going into October. Um, you may have already met this person, but nothing happened between you two. And then this person comes back in, and then you guys are able to rekindle something. Um, this Capricorn Taurus or a Virgo person might be into gardening. They may be a landscaper. They may um, they may work with animals or small children. Um, they may be a therapist. 
this person is definitely good for you. And um, if you're, again, about your finances, your finances are all going to pan out in a way that you need them to. Um, there will be success financially, especially for those of you that have started businesses or you own businesses, things are going to get much better. All right, guys, ta-ta for now.